students return to school in just a few short weeks and a local school district in Lackawanna County is looking to stay on track financially and they're looking for a new superintendent. 2822's Julie Dunphy joins us at Scranton High School after speaking with some board members ahead of the big meeting tonight. Julie, what have you learned? Nick Candace, good evening. Tonight's board meeting is about approving the 2024 preliminary budget. Now there is a 1.25% property tax increase in that budget, but it's not the final say, so they can still have talks about that budget down the line until the beginning of its approved beginning of next for the beginning of next year. But also the search for the new superintendent is now beginning. We have a plan this evening on our agenda uh, to consider a motion to appoint a search firm. And if that moves forward this evening, I think we will begin a very exciting process. The Scranton School District is searching for its new superintendent. Just last week, Melissa Missy McTiernan was named the superintendent of the Phoenixville Area School District outside of Philadelphia and is expected to begin her new role in November. Scranton School Board Vice President Sean McAndrew says he hopes McTiernan's successor takes the district to the next level. And we really need to make sure we do our due diligence because over 9,000 students are counting on us. Wednesday night's special meeting also entails reviewing and discussing the district's 2024 preliminary budget and voting to adopt it. The tax increase on the preliminary budget sits at 1.25 percent, around $700,000. But we still have time to um, look at options the way to reduce that or even, um, you know, have no tax increase. That's the, but right now the, the, the max, that's the ceiling. 1.25% only maintains our potential revenue stream at what it was the prior year. Scranton School Board Director Katie Gill Martin sits on the Budget and Finance Committee. She says the district has to take into account its five-year projections. Because in the monitoring phase, as we as it was in the recovery phase, we are obligated to pass a structurally, structurally balanced budget. And oftentimes a tax increase is part of that, especially when you're dealing with the declining assessed value. Meanwhile, the state is yet to replace the Scranton School District's chief recovery officer. McAndrew says Candace Finan's contract expired in July. Kind of alarming that, you know, it's been over, I think, a month now that they haven't replaced. So it makes me ask the question, do we really need one at this point? Because we're out of, we're headed in a better financial direction. So if there's not an urgency on their end to put somebody here, do we really need somebody? And despite the state's budget impasse, the Scranton School District and the board members that I spoke with today say that the district is strong financially. So that is a really good sign there that they don't need to take out any costly loans to move on as those funds are held up in Harrisburg. Now, for now, the special meeting tonight will begin at 7 o'clock tonight. Nick Candace. Those decisions affect a lot of people up there. Yeah. All right, Julie, thank you.